Welcome to the third video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. This video is about getting around FileMaker. Today we'll be covering the Layout View, the Layout Manager, Browse Mode, and Print Preview. In FileMaker, layouts are the main way in which your users will interact with data. It is possible to edit a layout by clicking the Edit Layout button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You'll then be presented with a variety of tool panes and information windows which will assist you in choosing the controls visible to end users. Currently we're editing the record detail layout. It is possible to change the layout you're editing by using the combo box in the upper left hand corner of the screen. For instance, if we select record list, the layout which we're editing will change to the record list, which in this case happens to be a list of the expense reports. Moving back to record detail, we can see a variety of controls present on the screen. Some of these controls are mere labels, whilst others display data currently pulled from the table occurrence. Our current table occurrence is the expense report table. To add a static control, simply select the control which you wish to add from the tool pane in the upper middle of the screen and click anywhere on the layout which you wish to add it. We've selected the text control and we'll add some simple text. Additionally, it is possible to add dynamic controls which are linked directly to data by using the field control tool. Select the field control tool from the upper middle of your screen and draw it in the position on the layout which you wish to add it in. FileMaker will then present the field control setup window. In this window you'll be able to adjust the type of control which is displayed. In this case we'll just use a simple edit box. And you'll also be able to adjust the data which is displayed on it. From the combo box above the list box containing fields, you'll be able to select the table occurrence which you wish to select the field from. When you view the layout, the field control which you've just added will display the data associated with the relevant field. Another important aspect of managing layouts is the Layout Manager. Select the Manage button from the upper right hand corner of the screen and select the Layouts item within the menu which is displayed. In the Manage Layouts dialog, you'll be able to select which layouts are visible to end users. Simply tick the checkbox beside the layout which you want to appear to end users. In this case, we'll display Expenses and the Expense Limits Master. Press OK when you're happy with your selection. If you exit the layout mode, you'll be able to see that the layouts which you've selected are present in the layout combo box visible to end users. In FileMaker, the Browse Mode is the mode in which your users will interact with data. The Browse Mode presents the user with a variety of layouts, depending on the selection in the Layout Combo Box on the upper left hand corner of the screen. By selecting an appropriate layout, the users will be able to edit, enter, or view data. For instance, if we wish to create a new expense report, we simply click the New Record button in the upper middle of the screen and we'll be presented with a blank form ready for us to fill out an expense report. The controls will be editable to us because we're inserting data and we can insert data as we see fit. It is also possible to browse records in this mode by using the controls in the upper left hand side of the screen, the left and right arrows or the slider. In FileMaker, the preview mode allows users to export data to an Excel workbook or a PDF and also preview data prior to printing it. To access the preview mode, use the combo box in the bottom left corner of the screen. It will usually be set to the browse mode when you first open the database. By clicking the preview item, we will be taken to the preview mode. Once again, we can change the layout which we're viewing by using the layout combo box in the top left hand corner of the screen. For instance, if we wish to print a record list, we'll select the record list layout and then we'll be given the option to save as an Excel workbook, save as a PDF, or print. Thank you for watching this Real Evolution FileMaker video. We hope to see you again soon.